Okay. Hello everyone, my name is Lightning, and today we are going to be taking a look at my PlayStation video game collection, which is technically part two of my video game collection since I'm breaking it up into three parts by a gaming company. I have four of the PlayStation systems, that being the PlayStation. Well, I only have three PlayStation systems, but games for four systems. PlayStation 2 plays PlayStation 1 games, so that's my loophole. So I have PlayStation 1 games, PlayStation 2 games, PlayStation Portable games, and PlayStation 4 games. There's also a couple digital games on PlayStation 4, we'll get to those later. But starting with PlayStation 1, we have Gundam Battle Assault 2, which I found this on Amazon, and thanks to my brother, I have Toggies 3 unlocked. I believe that's Zex Marquis. Well, we'll see. And then there's also Hot Wheels Turbo Racing, which was my brother's and now it's mine, and we've had this for a long time. That rhyme, but we're not going to get no more explanation for the games, unless it's a quick little moment. Now moving on to my PlayStation 2 games. I have Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja, which is actually my first Naruto game. Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja 2. Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja 3, which actually has the, in my book, the greatest mini game of all time in it being Tintin's Target Practice. I believe that's the name of it. And I'll forever be happy to be player 2 since I could be Tintin. I didn't know I could be Tintin as player 2. I feel bad for beating Tintin all those years now. I'm sorry, Tintin. You are awesome. Moving on, we have Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja 4, or as it's said in the game, Ultimate Ninja 4 Naruto Shippuden. I guess it doesn't really matter. Then we have Naruto Uzumaki Chronicles, which I found at the pawn shop for $6. Next we have Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts Rechain Memories, which I'm not a big fan of. I don't like you, card-based game. Kingdom Hearts 2, which um, at the time this game was awesome. It still is awesome. Still waiting for Kingdom Hearts 3. Next we have Final Fantasy 10. Final Fantasy 10 2, which I honestly will admit I have over 200 hours of gameplay into this game. Put on screen how much time I actually have in the game. Yeah, that, that's a lot of hours in the game. Final Fantasy 12. Soul Calibur 2. Soul Calibur 3. Kolioko Quest for Infinity. Found this game for 8 bucks. Of course, I'm going to get it. Kolioko is awesome. Dual Hearts. Pretty fun game. Actually, beat it. After I had to buy it, because renting it wasn't getting me nowhere. Bought it from a renting place. Tony Hawk's Underground. Tony Hawk's American Wasteland. Yu Yu Hakusho Dark Tournament, which one of my friends gave me. Thrillville. It's fun, I get to run an amusement park. Who wouldn't want to play this game? And Grand Theft Auto. San Andreas. I was going to give this to a friend when I would let her, let her borrow some of, couple of my games. I was gave her most of my other PlayStation 2 games. I had more. Gave her the others I didn't really play anymore. And that one she already owned, so I took mine back. Moving on to my PlayStation Portable games. I have Kingdom Hearts and Birth by Sleep. And then this is what it looks like on the inside. Fun fact, I'm using the book to this game for Kingdom Hearts Breath by Sleep Final Mix. Fun fact. Dissidia Final Fantasy. Dissidia Duodecium Final Fantasy. I always have to look at it to pronounce it. I prefer these two Dissidia games over Dissidia and T because they are 1v1. Crisis Core Final Fantasy 7. Kinda need to beat that, but I haven't got on that yet. And Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories, which is the first PSP game I got. 
I'm going to throw this in here with PlayStation Portable games, even though it's a movie, but it's for the PlayStation Portable, so I'm throwing it in here. And that's Final Fantasy VII Advent Children. Yeah, this isn't the only copy I have. And now, moving on to the PlayStation 4 games. Like the Xbox One, I don't have that many physical copies of PlayStation 4 games. But that's because I've, I haven't even had my PlayStation 4 for a year yet. So the game, it makes sense for me to not have that many physical copies of games. And I kind of more focus on buying both console version games on my Xbox One. For example, like Call of Duty. Destiny and things like that I'll get on Xbox One because I have Xbox Live. I don't have PlayStation Plus. Might get it one day, I don't know. But right now I don't have PlayStation Plus. So when it comes to PlayStation games, I want to build the collection up with PlayStation exclusives, except for this first one, which is not an exclusive. But I bought it on PlayStation 4 because I already own one of the four games included on Xbox One. That being Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm Legacy which includes Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm, Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 2, Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 3 Full Burst, and Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 Road to Barbato. And to prove that this is the PlayStation 4 version, if you do not watch my streams, which would easily tell you that this one is definitely, here's the inside. PlayStation 4 game. Proof. And it's a steel book, which I really like. First steel book ever. Moving on, before I ramble on too much about that, we have Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 2.5 Remix. I don't know how this game is pronounced, but... Yeah, there's that. Next we have Kingdom Hearts HD 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue. I'm just reading what the side of it says. But we will get to this game eventually. The first game we're going to play on this is going to be Kingdom Hearts 0.2 Birth by Sleep, a fragment passage which we first need to beat Birth by Sleep Final Mix before we get to this game. Next we have Final Fantasy X and X2 HD Remastered. I actually bought this before I had the PS4. Fun fact. And finally we have Minecraft Story Mode The Complete Adventure. I bought it because I have a plan for this. I want Aqua to play through this. She will be making the choices. I'll just be controlling it. But I want to have the PlayStation camera by then. Plus, I also want to be focused on Kingdom Hearts right now. And now we move on to my digital games I have on the PlayStation 4. Okay, so the following are the digital games that I own on PlayStation 4. Those games being Minecraft PS4 Edition and Dissidia Final Fantasy NT. Those are literally the only ones I have that are digital. The rest are physical copies. I don't know what that's doing here. I don't have as many digital copies of PlayStation games as I do Xbox One games, but I haven't had a PS4 that long and I'd rather have physical copies of games over, over digital copies. This was free. Someone bought this for me. So I can't complain. The only thing I'm going to complain about is why Why must it be 3v3? That's not fun at all. And then this is just Minecraft, so might as well buy it digitally, because why not? And that has been my PlayStation video game collection. If you like the video, be sure to leave a like. Leave a comment down in the comment section below if you have any suggestions for future videos. Be on the lookout for the next time I stream because you never know when I will stream. And we can all hope that my internet wants to be my friend. I need to work on that. I need an ethernet cord. Either for the PS4 or for my laptop. Because I like to monitor my own streams. I don't trust it. I might put the ethernet cord to the PS4. 
my internet quality and and that doesn't like to be friends but that that's something for the future and subscribe if you're new around here i have been lightning and until next time i'll see you later why because i'm the type to fight for light without a lightning strike of hope left for love life is hopeless a cold lie reveals the truth when it melts so in the end i stay true to myself